Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. I'm actually going to be testing out the new Crayola Beauty selection. So ASOS sent out an email that explained that Crayola Beauty is now a new thing. It is Crayola and makeup and I am screaming because I was so excited as soon as I got this email I didn't even know this was a thing the email came out and I was like I need it give it to me and I actually looked at like the original like Crayola crayons and they were so similar I am freaking out so I have bought a few things from this Crayola beauty line and we're gonna do a full face of it so let's get started so I have bought three things because they are quite pricey I am a person who is a student still and I do not have a lot of dollar I did actually end up buying three things so the first thing I bought is the Crayola beauty palette I am so excited this is the nude eyeshadow palette you know me guys I love my nude shades I love my warm browns and nudey kind of shades it actually says Crayola Beauty but you can't really see it but look how gorgeous that packaging is rainbow it has the little lines it's bringing me back it's bringing me back to my childhood and I'm living for it so the next thing is a Crayola Beauty um a highlighter I feel like this is for the cheeks but I thought it was for the high oh it is a highlighter crayon okay it's a highlighter crayon look at so cool and I also have the Crayola Beauty face crayon they had 72 shades of this. I think it was 72. Discover a collection of over 50 amazing products, including face crayons, as well as mascaras, eyeshadows, highlighters, and more. I was thinking about getting some more colorful shades, but because I don't really wear them, I feel like I wanna buy more practical things. But if you guys wanna try it out, go get the Crayola Beauty and try out a really colorful look for yourself. So the first thing I've done is I've already applied a base and I've done my eyebrows. I'm gonna go in with the Crayola Beauty eyeshadow palette. I'm so excited. So this is, as I said, the nude eyeshadow palette. There are so many eyeshadow palettes you can get. So as you can see, it has like the little lines here. And it also has that on the palette. Look how gorgeous this is, guys. So this is the Nudes Eyeshadow Palette. Oh my god, that is so pretty. I haven't actually looked at these um, pieces of makeup yet, but look how gorgeous that is. I can tell these are going to be really pigmented. Look how flat they are. It literally does look like a colour palette that would have like um, a face paint. <laughs> it's okay. I think it's saved. Wow, these are really pigmented. Damn. Damn, 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 damn. These feel really creamy. I'm gonna have to glue this back in. Okay, well, that's a fault. Okay, one of them popped out, so I'm just gonna hold it. It's beautiful, let's just go with that. <laughs> okay, so I don't actually think any of these shades have names, so we're just gonna go with the names I'm gonna try and call them. So these feel so creamy. I'm really excited to try these out. So I'm gonna start off with the really, really light shade, which is this shade here. It's like a, like a shimmery white color. So we're just gonna dive into this shade. Oh my God, look how creamy that is. Damn girl, they are killing it. Put a little bit on the inner corner. I'm just gonna put a little bit underneath my brow bone. Oh, there's a lot of fallout, which is quite annoying. Oh, look at that, that is pretty. You can see like this shimmer, even if you can't see the color, because of my camera. Let's use this like camel kind of color. It's like a like a golden brown. Whoa, look at that, that is really strong. Okay, I'm not a fan of this. You can't really see it. It looks like sand. That's like the color of sand. Oh, it's getting in my eye. Let's use this pink shade and then let's put that on the lid. So I'm just gonna fold that in my finger. Oh, okay, this is really pigmented. Look at that, that is beautiful. It's like a copper color. Oh yes, I like this one. This is nice. Okay, so I'm gonna apply this copper shade in my corner of my eye. This isn't like getting any darker. I don't like the fact there isn't really any dark colors. There's only like a purpley brown, which I'm not really a fan of. They remind me of coins, the colors. They have got like copper and brown and those sort of colors. Um, I'm gonna try and put this brown, browny shade here in my crease. The matte shades aren't very like strong. As you can see, there's a lot of fallout underneath my eye, which I'm not really happy with. I don't really like it, to be fair. It's not worth the price that I paid for it. I feel like this is 18 pounds, I think. I don't feel like that was the price. If that is the price, then I'm not overly pleased. Okay, so this is the eye shadow. I'm not a fan of it. I'm just gonna like brush off all the fallout. I haven't even blended this. This is kind of like showing that it's not strong enough if you're into very faded pastel colors then you're gonna like this but i'm not a fan it's not worth the price <laughs> anyways let's go with some mascara i'm just going to use my better than sex mascara and i'm just going to apply this to my lashes so because this eyeshadow is very very bright and quite faded 
my eyes do look brighter which I'm pretty happy with um I am filming this at 10 o'clock at night so if I do look very tired that is a reason carrying on okay so I have bought the highlighter crayon which is so cute look at that so chunky so cute so I'm just going to apply this straight to my whoa hello straight to my cheekbone as I was gonna say okay this has red undertones so this is why I was getting really confused I was like why is it so red I feel like the more you push your finger into the product the more red it goes which is really crazy so it's like a blush highlighter hmm interesting bit here a bit here no it's actually quite nice I don't know what do you think do you think it looks good or does it look like I just have an oily face I can't really tell the last thing we're going to try is the face crayon so you can use this for your eyes your cheeks your lips and i think that's it i'm gonna put it on my lips you can get loads of different colors of these you can get white black brown orange take your pick i could actually use this as an eyeliner if i got it in black so i'm just gonna line this for my lips and we'll see how that goes oh my god i look like a barbie not a pretty one i don't know what this lip color is it's not pretty right okay let me just appreciate how different they are this formula is gorgeous i'm not gonna lie to you but overall i'm not a massive fan of this i was kind of hyped for it and now i'm like meh i think if you like to play around with makeup this is good if you want to be serious about makeup probably not as good this i really like because it gives you a gorgeous shine look at that, that is really really pretty the face crown i feel like is good if you want to experiment more with different colors i feel like you should get all the rainbow colors and just experiment the heck out of these i mean i can try and apply it to my eye and see how it... oh i guess it feels quite nice on the eyes i feel like you do so many designs with these and if you have a dollar get them all and just try it out and see how it goes okay guys so that is the end of this video i really hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did don't forget to give it a big thumbs up don't forget to comment down below and subscribe to my channel if you are new overall i feel like this is a really nice look um it's very glowy very pretty and pink and um, because i did choose the nude palette i'm not sure if the other palettes would be more brighter because the nude palette is very as I said nude it's quite pale it's quite like brown shades so it does blend in with my skin more but i do encourage you guys to check out this brand for more experimenting with your makeup i'm not a fan of this lipstick i feel like it washes me out a little bit too much i feel like it's not too bad but i wouldn't go to the shop and select it because the thing is i feel like this is more my lip color until i put it on my lips it's like gone lighter which is really weird overall though i really like this highlighter this highlighter is gorgeous that is just what's selling me right now and it's also got red tint in it so it looks more like blush the more that you press it into your skin which is really really cool it's more like iridescent which is really really nice so if you guys want to check out this line i will link it down below you can get it on asos i got it next day delivery because i have asos premiere this is not sponsored by asos or any brands this is just a really good brand i love asos asos is great thank you so so much for watching guys and i will see you all in my next video bye